Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Today I thought I'd do a, um, a video on modifications and how I come around my different patterns and designs and things like that. Okay, so what I've already done is put pillow paint down on an MDF round, blown a bloom out because this one's more about the modifications rather than how to blow out a bloom. So, what I'll usually do is I'll look at the design of the way it's blown out, grab my skewer, and then I'll go in and start bringing things from the outside petals. Bring them in evenly at either side. And drag a piece down through the middle and loop it out. And then go around and do that with each petal. Now, depending on how you're blowing it out, will give you different shaped petals. So, the blow of it really has a lot to do with what shape you end up with before you start modifying. So, I can bring that down, bring that out. Another thing is, say like with this one, I can grab the skewer and just do little circles you can drag bits back in if you like This one here, it's really huge, so you can go the sky's the limit with this sort of thing. Like, you got to leave it to your imagination, have a bit of a play, and just see what different wiggles and squiggles make your pattern as it spins out. So we'll drag these from the outside edges. Grab some from the center, drag it out. Now if you've got more pillow paint down, it's easier to drag your skewer through and drag paint around. Now I've already spun pillow paint out on this one, so. Because I didn't want the design to spread out too far. Now you can drag bits out from in between here. So you've virtually got something like that to start with. Now, it's easier if you just use small four inch tiles. You won't go through as much paint blow out a little bloom or do a little swipe on it and just randomly pick different patterns and then watch how they spin out and how they change. That's the best way to learn how to do modifications. So 
we'll spin this one out. Move that over off center because I want it to spread that way a little bit. So this one I'm going for a fair bit of negative space. Just so you can actually see the out, outside designs of everything. Alright, so as that spins out, if there's any other little bits you want to go in and mess around with, now's the time to do it. Little circles are usually pretty cool. And all you're doing is little circles like that and drag it out. And do a circle, back through the middle of it, drag it out. But there's all sorts of shapes, patterns, things like that. You just play with it. That's the best way. So, we'll stick with that for the moment. I'll zoom back out. Wipe my hands off a bit, because I'm covered in paint. Okay, pop that up, and we'll have a bit of a look. So realistically, your color choice makes a big difference. Certain things will look better together when you modify it. And you'll only get that from messing around with different colors and actually experiencing what colors go together and how they blend and what they look like together at the end. So... There are all the modifications that we did. And as we spun it out, the whole thing spread out nice and even. Now you've got some cool little wispy bits at the sides. So that's how I go about modifying a bloom. Um, what I'll do is put this to one side and I'll do another one, but I'll do a swipe and modify a swipe. Okie dokie. So to save time, I've already laid colors down, did a swipe. Now we're gonna go in and modify that. So what I'll do is I'll look at it and go, all right, zoom that in. These are all solid colors, which is perfect for modifications. Around here, we have all solid color, which is good for modification. If you don't want to mess your cells up too much, leave them alone or do little bits at the edges. You can do little scoop and drags where you use one of these little tools. So you can actually scoop in underneath the paint and then lift and drag it out to make little patterns. So what we'll do is we'll start with the solid piece over here first. So if I spin that camera around to there. Um, now if you just put little loops in like that, as it spins out, those loops will spread out more. Now, if you don't clean the tip of your skewer properly, every time you dip it, you're gonna get little pieces like that. 
Whereas if it's fully clean and you drag it through, you don't get that. So it's got to be fully clean as you drag it through. See the difference? So I'll do another one where I won't clean it off properly. See the line appear? It's where you've still had a little bit of paint on the end of your tip and it leaves those little lines. Which is fine depending on what you want your outcome so then over here what we can do is where's the camera I might zoom that out a bit more so you can actually see what I'm doing I'll come in from an outside edge do a circle here I might come in from the outside edge do a circle realistically it's just like cursive writing that's just a zigzag gives you that sort of pattern over here we'll drag some white into that do a circle another circle another circle just by doing little loops like this you can drag that color out do a couple of zigzags For you. Okay, so through here you can come in, drag bits and pieces out, leave some wispy bits. Outside edge in, two circles. And that stretches all that out. You can do zigzags. Finish it off with a little circle in the middle. The sky's the limit with this sort of stuff. You gotta leave it up to your imagination. And just try different patterns. Do a little drag in. If you grab a color there, you can actually drag through it and it blends the first color into the second color. All right, so what we'll do is we'll give that a bit of a spin and see what it looks like. So I'll zoom that out. So that's what we've got so far. Now all that's going to expand as we spin it. So it's best off to start slowly when you spin. That way the paint just starts to move slowly. You can see where things are starting to move. See, that's all going off that edge. So we're going to lose a lot of this design. So what we need to do is push that 
more over off center that way. So you can see how far off that is. Spin it slowly. Let the paint stretch the other direction now. I mean, you can pick it up, tilt, wiggle it, jiggle it, all that sort of stuff. But if you've got a spinner here, it's just as easy to manipulate it this way. So we'll give that a bit more of a spin. Just be careful when things are off center because they tend to slide around a lot more. It helps if you've got a layer of paint on your spinner because it tends to grip it a little bit better. All right, so then if there's any bits you want to modify and change, you can go in, add some little circles. You can drag bits from the outside in. Just always wipe your tip. Circles usually work pretty well. Or S shapes. So if you're doing an S, that's a backwards S. It gives you like a flame sort of effect. So I'll zoom that in. All right, and that's just by doing an S like that. I'll do one over here, do it the same way. They just go in. Okay. So it all comes down to what shape you're doing with your skewer. Just practice different patterns. That's my best advice for modifications. Some you win, some you lose. It's only paint. It's all good. So we'll put that there. Zoom that out. And that's what you get left with. So by keeping that spinner offset, we've managed to keep all that and stretched it out that way instead. Those little wispy patterns there. So I might do another really quick one. And we'll just do some really basic stuff. Nice and easy. Okay. For this one I'm using an 8 inch tile. Pillow paint's already down. And what we're going to do is. Nice easy practice runs for you. So grab two colours of your choice. run one like that and we'll grab the other color and we're going to lay it right beside it like that so they're side by side, nice and simple. Grab a skewer, what you're gonna do is, dip it in there and just go 
side to side. Okay, that will give you that pattern. Now if you do circles, you're going to get that pattern. So that bit there is your side to side. And that's what you get with circles. Okay. So we'll see a bit back here. All that is is just circles all the way. Do it the other direction, you're going to get different shaped circles. All that will be on the opposite side. So if you run another two strips. This is just great practice for making up different designs. All right, we'll lay that one pretty much directly over the top of it and do the same thing. Side to side gives you that pattern. Then if you do circles, we're just going to go two totally different patterns the way the colors line up just by laying the color over the top of it rather than side by side with it okay then what we can do is if you have different shapes like so Do that, throw an S shape in. Lay that. Now if you leave gaps, like I've left here, you'll get a different design compared to what you're gonna get there. They'll be wide in the middle of it. So, if we start here and do circles like we have over there. And just do circles the whole way. You get some pretty cool patterns. So that had the gap in between, so you've got nice white sections in between your colours. Like that. So it really pays to just mess around with what you're doing. Um, okay, we've got a bit of space over here, so if you put down one basic blob of that, basic blob of that colour, bring it to a point where you can see it easier. Like that. You start from the center. You 
can get all sorts of trippy little shapes. You don't need cell activators and all the other stuff just to do crazy patterns. But you can use these patterns the same way. When you have got cell activator on there, you've already done the swipe. You can use the same sort of shapes and patterns to get crazy stuff like this. No, then you can go in and loop bits from inside out. Just to get crazy patterns. And it's mainly circles, S shapes, zigzags will give you that sort of um, cool pattern. Okay. Um, then, when you've got things like that, you can just drag a skewer through, straight through the middle. Now it's a totally different pattern. Do an S as you walk up. Totally different pattern now. Same with this one. You can go in, just draw a line right through the middle of it all. And it totally changes your design. So, just mess around. Do grab a tile, throw some pillow paint down, draw two lines, and then just have a play. Because that's the only way you're really going to get the gist of how your paint looks and things like that when you start manipulating it. So what we're gonna do is give that a quick spin. You can see what it looks like when it spreads out. Now I'm gonna give that some beans because we're running low on time. So, is that all zoomed out? Yeah. yeah. And that's what your patterns look like when you spin them out. Pays not to be too close to the edge, especially if you've got a fair bit of pillow paint down, otherwise you will lose the pattern off the side. Like so. But that's what your designs look like with zigzags, circles, S shapes. For when you modify them. Alright guys, we've got Christy up next from Creations by Christy. If you click her name in the title, it'll take you directly to her YouTube channel. Just click on the first video that's there, which will be a premiere. If you're in the live chat, I'll be putting the links in anyway, so just click on those links and you're directly to her video. Alright, if that was a help to you, please click like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell, that way you get to see the videos as I produce them and release them. Uh, thank you all for being on the crazy train here today. Um, I'm not 100% certain who's on, because today's only... What? Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, I guess we'll find out. Woohoo! All right, have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.